Yo, 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 what's up? I'm I'm live right now, which is weird because I don't go live a lot. So you know that if I'm going live, then um, something is up right now. Um, so here's the sitch. Um, I'm going live with a very special individual. Um, some of you may know her, some of you may not, but if you've been following her at all whatsoever, then you know who I'm going live with because she has been going live with darn near everybody. So I'm going on, we're going to see if she's going to pop up and see what's up. And we're going to try to make this feel like a normal conversation. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Let me fix my phone. Adjust your things. Yeah, yeah. Adjust your no, things. I'm always like doing that on your phone too. I'm like You're, smudging the thing. I 100% smudged before you got on here right now. Oh, how are you? Hi. It's so nice to see you. Same. How's Vegas? It's it's Vegas. It's been so busy. It's been yeah. so busy right now. Okay, hold hold on, hold on. Let me explain to you the people that are on here right now. I'm going to give you some backstory, which is probably going to make Jen's team completely like bothered by this a little bit. So here's the bothered. Here's, here's the backstory. We are supposed to do an interview about Jen's tour. I have some very formal questions I'm supposed to ask her. This is also all supposed to take about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, let me explain a couple of things. One, I don't know if we've ever done anything for 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> ever, ever in anything, I, I, anything. So true. Uh, to to like add some color commentary to that. So obviously Tyler and I are like dating long distance, which means we spend billions of hours on like the phone and the FaceTimes and whatever. And so on the regular, we do this. And I don't even know why we say this at this point. I do not know why either one of us say it, but we will say something like, hey, do you have five minutes to talk? <laughs> or like, I just want to, I just want to talk to you or real just, fast. Or just real quick, real quick. Just, just real like quick. real quick. I just want to check in on your day just for a minute. It's never, it's an hour at minimum. the bare minimum. Every time, all the time, doesn't matter. So I don't know why we keep saying that. Who, who are we fooling? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think sometimes what happens because we both get so busy, we like to be like, hey, just give me a second. Right? Like in our minds, we're like, yeah. give me a second, we're so busy. And then we start talking and we're like, maybe we're not as busy as we thought we were compared <laughs> to what we want to do with us talking right now. <laughs> totally. The best part is when you and I both are either like, yo, we have to, we're doing something else that is so important right now. Or like, I'll text you and be like, I'm about to save the world. And you'll be like, cool, cool, cool. And then you'll call me and I'll be like, hey. <laughs> You know, like we, there's no, yeah. we, there's I need to no. have this done. This needs to be finished and like uploaded in about, about 21 minutes. And I'll be like, good, good, good. Let me give you a real quick call. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so for now and a half. Sorry, everybody who needs something from us. Sorry. We're back. Yeah. Not so done. for those of you who, who are watching here, we're a supposed to, I, okay. I was sent a very specific like interview kind of list thing. And I, I text Jen and was like, I'm going to follow it exactly. Well, um, <laughs> I'm going to follow when I saw it this morning, I was like, oh, baby, I, I just saw the interview they sent over. I'm like, it's fine. Let's just hop on and talk through it. It's exactly what the interview questions are asked. I'm supposed to ask you, I'm going to ask you very specific. No, you're not. You're not going to do that. <laughs> And I'm going to respond very specific as like, well. Baby, the first one, I'm looking at it right now. The first one goes, just so you guys know how absurd this is. <laughs> so, by the way, this is no shade on my team. They are simply trying this to is, my life. Again, no shade. For you. Like, that you don't have to think it through. But, like, no this shade. is the first question they sent Tyler to ask his girlfriend, Jen, of almost a year. Um, so, Jen, you wrote a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine going. So, Jen, um, I'm 
done. Hat maker. It's, it's hat maker, right? Um, <laughs> so you, you wrote a cookbook. It, I'm seeing here that you wrote a cookbook and, um, and you're a New York Times bestseller. That's Look true. at that. Which is part of the notes as well, by the way. That's uh -huh. part of the game. Okay. That's right. Um, so let, let's go back and let's say this. This is the whole reason why we're on the slide day because we're going to talk about her tour, which everybody is excited about. I'm excited about. Um, she asked me if I could be a part of the first um, first show on the tour. And I, for all of you that are going to show up the first show on the tour, you have to understand that her, that day is November 4th. Yes. I have to be in Alabama on November 5th. Yes. Then back at Nashville, speaking at an engagement on November 6th. Correct. So with that in mind, know that I, I said, heck yeah, let's go to <laughs> West Des Moines on November 4th, even though I have to be back in Alabama on November 5th. And then I have to, the thing that I have to speak out on November 6th is not her tour. It's That's a right. completely different thing <laughs> that's after that. But she was like, Baby, my show is before the thing you have to speak at in Nashville. And oh, wait, okay, not by much. You guys, my Nashville show is matinee. It's at three. And then Tyler's other Nashville thing is at five. And I was like, baby, we can front load you. If you can be in the first half and we can have you out the door in your car by this amount of time, can you get there? You guys, how? We have, I have no boundaries. Like, what I should have said was, forget it. Go do what you have already agreed to do. It's don't. Instead, I'm like, what if we get a helicopter and we can yeah. take you across town just in time to like slide into your 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 engagement you've already agreed to already scheduled. Yeah, but yeah. like we do, I was like, oh no, we can do that. We can do yeah, for sure. I'm sure. What I mean, do I really? What time do I have to be there really? That and is so, true. and we that is how that out. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> all, of, all of that to say, though, I'm stoked to be a part of yeah. anything that you're doing. You know that. And what's, I don't know why we don't go on live more. I mean, I can't, there's a million reasons, but most of the time we're talking on FaceTime, we're like, if this was on live, this would be so much fun to watch because you're so fun and, <laughs> I, and I love it. Um, but let me just say some specifics. So you're going to be in West Des Moines. You're going to be in Definitely. Austin. You're going to be in Houston. This is in no order, so don't quote me on this. Uh -huh. Austin, Houston, West Des Moines, um, Nashville, Dallas. and Dallas. Tulsa. Tulsa. There you go. Yeah. Um, okay, you one more time. You're with me at West Des Moines, which is the second show of the tour. So you're with, oh, and of course, what I had said to Tyler, you guys, was, I'm interested in having you at in slash all of these. What is your poison? And so um, I don't even really know how I functionally got you in the first two. It's so silly. You should see the schedule we have engineered to make it work. But um, I'm so happy that you're going to be there. It's going to be so fun. I mean, this is new for us, too. We've never been on a – this is what we do. This is one of the things that we do in our work. We've never done this together. Separately. So, right. Absolutely I, separately. I, right. The universe might explode. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't either. Because I actually still don't exactly know what I'm doing on this tour. Like, but okay, which is a part <laughs> of the secondary question I'm supposed to get to, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let me finish this first part and say, absolutely congratulations on new, being a New York Times bestseller for the fourth time. For the fourth time. All right. And here, okay. I, I need I need for you all that are on this and that are going to be listening to this in perpetuity. Um, listen, being a, a New York Times bestseller is not easy. Um, it's rare air. Now, granted, granted, there are some books that get on the New York Times bestseller list that everybody who reads books are like, "How the hell did this happen?" But, <laughs> but. <laughs> It's still rare air. Not only is it rare air, but it's special and it's not promised. So for you to hit the, for anyone to hit the New York Times bestseller list once, it's a feat. To hit it twice, 
It's fantastic. To hit it three times, it's like, what's the horse race thing where you win all three? I don't know. It's a triple that, crown. Triple crown. Right. I, baby, I'm black. I don't know. The horse thing. Three times. Right. So it's like the triple crown, that thing. Three times. A fourth time with a book that's outside of your genre that you put out into the world on some levels out of a necessity um, to continue to tell stories in a time period where we needed to hear stories from you. Um, for people to embrace it in the way that they have um, is not only amazing, it's, it's, it's incredible and it's special. And you have had a, um, a live with everybody about Feed These People except for me. Um, and so I just wanna make sure that I say this clearly. Um, your cookbook is so much more than a cookbook. I kind of said this in a post a little bit. It's not just about food. So you would think I was promoting you like everywhere because I was, I'm here in Las Vegas and every, you know, I, I'm speaking to all these people. And if the, if I get a window to talk about you and your cookbook, I'm talking about it. I know. And I, you know it. And people will be like, I don't really cook. And I'm like, it doesn't matter if you don't cook. Y'all, Tyler like, on an airplane by it. Like just some woman sit next to him and he's like, look, pull up your phone. Here's her name, type it in. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 100%, yeah. Right. Yeah, and she's like, I'm not really a cook. I'm like, doesn't matter. But you like good stories, right? You like people, do you like people? Do you like to feed yourself? Then yeah. you need this book. And the whole world is kind of backed up behind that. And I just want to say, Jen, um, I'm so proud of you, man. Like, I'm so proud of you. Um, for a million reasons, but for the success of this book. And I also want to thank everybody on here um, for making you a New York Times bestseller again for the fourth time. Because if you didn't hit the list this time around, I don't know, I, what were we going to, what was I going to do as a person? I, was I going to fly to Texas and cradle you in my arms like a baby? I don't know. What was I going to do? Oh, thank you. That is so nice and so over the top. And I told you this, but um, uh, maybe like, I don't know, a couple of months ago, Tyler and I were in New York and I had just gotten like my first copy of the book. So it wasn't out yet. I just, this is the only hardbound copy that I had. I had one. And he's like, well, can you bring it so I can look at it. I'll make sure. So I brought it. And I just kind of left it on the counter for the how three or four days we were there. And um, so in the middle of the night, that's when Tyler's awake because he is, that's his weird, that's his weird way. Um, he just had been like slowly reading it. Like I had no idea. He just kept putting it back where I'd had it originally. He was reading it. And so um, I, we go home to our separate cities after that. And Tyler sends me this, maybe I screenshot it all because it was so sweet. Like long, I mean, it just went on and on and on. You and I are not known for brevity. And like everything that you thought about the cookbook, you're like, this is my favorite page. <laughs> Put a picture in there. Um, this is my favorite picture. Um, this story, when you said this, made me want to call my mom. Um, this was hilarious and I laughed out loud. Um, this, is, this is the way I feel about my family. It was just on and it was so specific. Like with all these screenshots you had taken and like, I mean, I just, I did not. I expected you to be like, oh baby, you wrote a cookbook. Oh, wait. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't, I, I, I kind of was feeling, I kind of thought I was going to be that way about it. Like flip through the pages and be like, oh, food, cool. But it, it's anybody who has a book knows, like as soon as you turn the first page, you're like, wait a second okay, this is stuff, I'm reading this now, like an actual book. That's why everybody who, you heard me tell her that she needed to do an audio book. And I mean, I still stand by that and I know you're not gonna do it, but I still feel like you should. All right, we need to talk about your actual tour or your team is really gonna be like, dude, it's 15 minutes in and you've not talked about anything, how to do a tour. Guide, it is a guide. Yeah, it's fine, but we still need to do it. It's no, we, are, we did talk about it, we are, and I'm so, excited if we start it's thursday like today is friday and you and i are west des moines on a stage together this coming thursday it's wait like, wait yes but the actual show's on friday 
the actual show is correct. It is on Friday. Okay. You are more right than I am. Okay, I just want, I'm thinking that for scheduling issues, like I just thought to myself like, our schedule would be crazy for it to be on Thursday. It's all right, it's because you and I are flying there. Uh, okay. But that's what made me feel confused in my brain. It's Friday, everybody, it's a week from today. And, um, and then it's every night, it's every night. They're on because we're, now Tyler's not doing this. He's on an airplane like a normal. We are, the rest of us who are going straight from West Des Moines to all the other cities are gonna be on the tour bus. Um, and the whole crew is on the tour bus. And when I tell you shenanigans, like shenanigans, this is not our first time to do this. And it's really the most fun, ridiculous experience I think I've ever had. Um, and so that's how we're getting to you. That's by the way, consequently, and Tyler, you can like say whatever you want to say about this. But whenever we say we come on here and we're like, here's where I'm coming. Here's the cities that I'm coming to. Um, it's on the tour. It's mayhem. Like, what about Portland? That's out Cincinnati. What about Tampa? Where's Phoenix? Like, like y'all look. If we could, we, we would. Work. Every city in America, all of them, every single one of them, we just simply cannot. It's a routing issue. And so we you know that we're driving overnight to the next city. Now you understand why we're in a corridor, okay? What do you want to say about this? I actually know that you have an opinion. I 100% have an opinion because if we could just be everywhere, we would. There are a million reasons as to why we, we can't. But we joke about this all the time, that as soon as we're like, Hey world, we're gonna be in Decatur, Alabama. The yeah. first comment is, "When are you coming to Cincinnati?" That's right. <laughs> and I'm like, um, <laughs> I, I, so "One of these days, I'm sure." But this is right. about this. You're so, like, I, I like Cincinnati, and I prefer Cincinnati, and all the people that chose to live there. Tip of the hat to your geographical choice. And right. Right. In this particular case, I'm going to be in Decatur, Alabama. I'm going to be in Decatur. And so, thank you for the request of, uh -huh. of wanting to come wherever. But this very specific thing is about going this place. That's um, right. But I will tell you this. The Des Moines, West Des Moines people I know are super, super, super stoked. And I'm also really excited for them because it's going to be the first show. So <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? Like, I don't. By Nashville, you'll I, have it figured out. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, uh, how are we going to do? Like, will anybody be able to keep us on the rails? You know what I mean? Like, right. so to be honest with you. Um, but it will be fun. It yeah. will be fun. We are going to have a good time. And um, I'm kind of interviewing you a little bit. So you get to be in the hot seat. And you have to answer whatever I say, because it's my tour. I'm it's down. My name. Sure. So you just have to, you have to just answer. And so mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that in advance, but that, I don't make those rules. Um, I, here's the deal. You, I guarantee there is no way you're going to ask me anything that is going to um, be a problem because you know that I'm honest and I will tell more than you would probably want me to. So sure, ask me whatever you want, but just know that if you want to open Pandora's box, I will jump out that bitch mm -hmm. like a champ. Hmm. Right. The thing is, is that you would. And so. <laughs> right. And you think it through carefully. Like, I can't throw you like a fake question that I want you to dodge and be like clever because you were dead. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. That's good. You're making, you're helping me um, craft that interview right now in my brain. So that we don't um, because of your truth telling um, instincts. Um, but it, we've got, we've got music. We have, I haven't even told you this. Wait until you see what we are giving away every single stop. We have some of the coolest things that we're giving away. I'm just, I don't know. I can't say any more about that, but like, you're gonna love it. Um, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, I mean, it's called All the Dish and we know that you guys want dish. Um, and so, there's the train, babe. I know, I know. I'm so used to the train now that I don't even really hear it. And it's, the weird thing about the train is it's it, all hours. 
It's all ours. Like, is there a discount on your home for the fact that it does not matter when the train's coming? Nobody, the train people don't care. They don't care what time it is. They just come they by your not. house like, I don't care that it's three in the morning. We're here. No Fs. Not only do they not care, they lay on that horn for a solid mile. Just over and over, over. I'm like, bro, yeah. we got it. You are coming down the track. <laughs> like, we don't, that's enough. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, back to the tour. Listen, questions very specifically. I know that there are tiers of ways that um, people can, <laughs> Alana, <laughs> Alana just put on here, hi, Mrs. Merritt. And I was like, what? And then it occurred to me, she's talking to my mother. So my mom may be on this live right now. Is um, your mom live right now? She she may be. She might she might be on here. Which you know, it's my mom. Um, so, okay, there are different tiers to um, your tour, all the way through, right? So what are the like kind of recommended some of the recommended tiers, and what where are the places like if I'm gonna go and buy a ticket today? Ah, my mom is on here. Do you see her? She's here. My mom. Oh, there's your mom. We should, we should. I would say we should invite her, but she would not know how to get on here. She would. She would completely be lost. Let's try. Should we? Yeah. Should we really? Yeah, and I think you have to do it. I'm gonna I, do it, but I'm telling you, there's no way, my mom. Let's. See. I don't. Obvious. I don't know about having a third person on. I don't know how it works. It will work, but just hold on a sec. Before we invite her, because when, when my mom gets on, it's going to go off the rails. Okay. Because <laughs> she's not going to know what to, she's like you. You guys, neither one of you know how to use the internet. I know. Um, but I, I, seriously, about this ticket question, like, tell me about tiers. Like, do people get to meet you? We have a few levels. You come, like, at whatever price point you want, or whatever sort of, like, access you want, like, we we kind of have something for everybody. So there's you have general seats where you just come in. They're super affordable. Like just bring yeah. all your people. Um, we you can still get a handful in most cities. I think some premium, and those are meet and greet tickets with me. So that's fun. I love um, that. A few markets are almost sold out of those. So those are just those are just a few left. The premium, but I'm telling you, I get the prime level because you get the pre-show Q and A with me. That's private and little. That's just with us. Um, but you also get a signed cookbook, um, which I've already signed them all, you guys. I, they're literally signed. And you also get the best seats in the house. So I think the, um, the prime tickets, just why not? How often do we do a thing where we go out and have a night? So my thing is, go ahead and go for it. Um, so come on. But I don't care who you are. I don't, whatever seat you're in, However, whatever get, I'm happier. I so am I, do I get to be? Like, we're just now kind of starting to be back in a live room yeah. with people. And it's just, it's the best. Like, it's hard to duplicate, right? You just came, you're, you just did one yesterday. Yeah. I'm telling you, and this is what I think is so special about this tour. People that have seen me live recently, the first thing I say to them is, we're about to have a shared experience and I'm so excited about it. Like this is a moment that only we get to have together. Yeah. And I get, I love the fact that we're gonna share that with your people on tour and be like, look, it's been a minute, but we're gonna have a special moment together. And tonight, it, we're not gonna waste your time. Tonight is going to be a good time. It's gonna be worth your money. It's gonna be worth your energy. And um, we're, we just love that you're here and we're gonna do everything we can to make it special. That I, Cause look, this is what I know. I know that that's what I want to do, me. Yeah. So that's what I want to do when you're in a room with me and then we're partnered together. Like, I don't know about the rest of the nights, but the rest of the, those two nights, you and I, that we're together are going to be dope. At least for Nashville when I'm there for the first like three minutes or if we're after. <laughs> um, really quick, let me say, and mom, I am going to invite you in here in a minute, which is going to just be weird if you actually right. can get on. Um, but can, can you tell me really quick that people are going to be in your other cities? Um, let's see. I've got Kristen Kish, a superstar, culinary superstar. Yo, let me talk about Kristen Kish. For those of you who do not know her, if yeah. you have watched Iron Chef on Netflix, the new se like the new season they came out with, she is like the slick, slim, beautiful woman who's on there, who is like the co-host, and yeah. she is so dope, so dope. 
really so, so, so dope. Okay, so, sorry. You know how I feel about her. Like, I am, I'm so, like, girly about her. Um, okay, so I've got with me in Dallas. I have um, also in Nashville with you and I, Mallory is joining us. So it's me. if you don't know Mallory, she's so like sparkly and effervescent, just the Nashville darling. So the three of us are in Nashville together. In Houston, I have Maddie James. Maddie is so cool. Um, she is, I am a new follower. She is, she has her stuff together in such a way. I'm like, Maddie, please teach me your ways. Like, she's beautiful. She's fascinating. She's smart. She's pretty. Nicole Walters is with me in Austin. Star. Nicole. I was just telling Pepper. Yeah. Pepper's a Telling Pepper. I'm like, I think Nicole and I just, I don't even know what's going to happen to two of us. We'll just light it up. Um, and then I have Reed Drummond in Tulsa. And you may have heard of her. <laughs> Little, Listen, little franchise up there in the corner of Oklahoma. Right, um, yo, I, I, Pioneer Woman. I just call her Pioneer Woman. So I just want you know, if I meet her face to face, I'm gonna be like, "What's up, Miss Pioneer?" You do say that, and I'm always like, "It's just Re." I wonder if you could just try Re. Yeah. Um, and then I have DJ Poison Ivy on all the events, and she is so fun. She has got her own really cool story of Love like it. great glass ceilings and pushing into like these incredible worlds that have been typically dominated by men. She is super cool. It's just awesome. It's just yeah. all that awesome. Um, and I'm going to talk pretty frankly, honestly about my last couple of years and what that has meant for me and what it's looked like and what um, health and happiness recovery looks like, how the table factors in because it does. And we're going to give away a bunch of stuff. We're just going to have a blast. So happy you're coming, baby. I'm. I can't. I'm so glad you're with me on the first two. Also, like, I'm super stoked. <laughs> Let Let's see if we can't get my mom on here. All right. Okay. While Tyler's doing that, you guys go get your then have your dot com. Okay. Yeah. And see, like the all the dish tour. There you go. Get your tickets. Bring your people, though. Of course. I mean, this is a girls' night out if I ever heard of one. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mom! Mrs. Merritt. Hello. Mother, where? Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is not, this, I don't know why I just did this. Uh-huh. Mom, where, 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 where are we? to do this, and here we both are. We both figured it out. So, Tyler, you were wrong about the two of us. <laughs> huh? Mom, where yeah. are you? Where are you? At my desk, in my office. At work? Yes. I would say, does your boss know that you're on social media while you're at work, but you're kind of the boss? Yeah. You know, I'm kind of my own boss, so it don't make any difference. How about that? How about that? See, also what's really funny about this whole scenario is, is this is not unusual for Jen and I to be talking and to randomly call my mother. That's so, right. If anybody is like, this is weird, this is not weird, because Jen and I will be having a conversation We'll be smack dab in the middle of it, and I'll be like, "No, no, no, no!" I'm and, and I'll do it unannounced. I'll be like, "We're calling." Uh, unannounced, call me. Like we would be on the phone having, and just we're 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 noodling an idea, and I thought one idea, and Tyler has another, um, or I he has a question. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I have the answer. And he's like, I don't think that's it. Whatever it is, whatever the dilemma is, all of a sudden Tyler will just say something very simple. Hold on, just a sec. Hold on, hold on just a sec. I'm like, oh, okay. Just the very next thing is he patches in Mrs. May. I'm like, <laughs> oh, like, let me call my mom. Let's, let's see what my mom thinks. Have mom weigh in. So first of all, Mrs. Merritt, I am sorry. But always Tyler's doing. I want, I'm sure you know that. I am very aware. Yeah. But to give people an idea, here's the kind of subjects that take place when we call my mother. Like you yeah. might be thinking to yourself, these are life or death issues, but yeah. I'm going to tell you, this is exactly the conversation we had the last time we called my mom. Yeah. Jen and I were in a very heated conversation on who, I, I forget what the terms that we were using, but it was something to the effect of like, as far as black women go, who right now like holds the crown? Like who is the top 
black woman in the world, like, or in the United States. And, and we were having a heated conversation about this. Jen was saying Oprah Winfrey, and I was saying Michelle Obama. And there was no, like, like, we were not pushing, we were not, like, budging on that. We were like, it's either Michelle or Oprah, and we were in a fight. We were in a deep, deep argument. <laughs> and so I was like, there's only one person that can settle this. Uh -huh. And so we called my mom. And mom, what did you say? Well, I would just let people guess what I said. See, there we go. Someone already suggested it. Michelle Obama for sure. Michelle yeah. Obama, which <laughs> made me the winner of an argument with Jen, which is <laughs> rare, rare error for me. That's not untrue. <laughs> Even right this very second, I feel myself wanting to defend. I'm like, you know, contextually, this is how we set up the question. So I'm like, I just need, I need to just concede. I need I to concede lead, defeat here. I didn't lead the witness. I was just like, this is what's up. And mom came on. So my mom comes on to like settle the big things. Um, uh -huh. So yeah. And I can't yeah, wait for you all to meet face to face in real life. Same. My favorite part of that conversation was not so much that um, you gave Tyler the victory in the argument. It was more that after your, if you, after you weighed in, you said to the two, this is a, it was a Saturday night. It was like an eight o'clock at night. And you said to the two of us, is this what you're doing? Is this what the two of you are doing on a Saturday night? You're just <laughs> arguing about powerful black women. You, you were in Alabama at the time you were visiting. And you said, why don't you guys come down to Alabama and I'll just put you to work. Let, let, yeah. if, 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 if this is all you have to do, I just, I just. Yeah. <laughs> she really was like, is this, this is what your relationship is? Arguing about <laughs> Obama and Oprah on a Saturday night on the phone? That's and right. you're calling, and you're calling me? Like, this is, this is what <laughs> a relationship looks like in the 2022s? Right. right. It wasn't a good show. I freely admit that. I want to do over. <laughs> okay. Listen, mom, thank you for adding on. I, I love the fact that you actually figured it out. Um, if it helps, you are not that far behind in technology than Jen Hatmaker is at all, period. Yeah. At all. Well, you should probably be nice to me because I think I need to give you a ride to the airport in a couple hours. How about that? Yeah. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. You yeah. are correct. I feel like mm -hmm. I should probably chill on the attitude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, all that to say, all of you that are watching, thank you for joining. I think it is a blast that you get to see a screen with my mama, with um, Jen, who I absolutely adore. Um, I hope that you all can come out to Jen's tour. I will be there this Friday and on Sunday, and everybody else will be there all the other dates. Please, please, please come out. And I will do my best to try to get Jen to come to all these other states <laughs> that she's completely Nick. ignoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm okay. going to miss the look at that. All right. And if you want to hear more about my mom, go read my book. She's the best. She's the absolute best. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Jen, love you. Mom, love you. Yep. Bye, Jen. <laughs>